Hey guys, welcome back. So the Zabbix 7.2 is released, which means it's time to talk about what kind of features actually are inside of this release. But I'm going to tell you straightforward, like we're not going to do any technical clickies in the Zabbix frontend and configuration for all of the interesting functionality. We'll have the separate video. And also what's important, I am actually pretty much sick. So bear with me if I cough during the videos where I need some interruption and I look quite terrible but nevertheless the new version is released and it's time to talk about it so if you go to thezabix.com you will find uh, uh, what's new page uh, and you can also have an option to uh, sign up for the what's new webinars which are happening tomorrow so this video is going to be published after some hour or two so you still have a time to sign up and uh yeah, all of the features are described here and the list is shorter than you might expect as it usually is with the new versions of the Zabbix and this was actually uh, straight up announced during the Zabbix Summit this year that the version 7.2 will not be any kind of uh, revolution that would add some extreme new functionality, something brand new and shocking. It's more like a preparation for all of that stuff, because you must understand that not all uh, great and big functionality, big features can be added like within a single major version. Sometimes it is required to do some preparation. So I believe we can say that 7.2 is preparation for something bigger that can wait us in a 7.4 and also probably uh, 8.0. And uh, also to talk about the features, I wanted to use this page, which you pretty much are already familiar. It's the InitMax uh, wiki where you can find a lot of information about his Abex. And uh, this one has a little bit wider list of uh, everything what's new. I will post the link in the description. And um, yeah, it, it, I think it also already has like how to upgrade to the Zabbix 7, Zabbix 7 7.2 and how to install it from the scratch. We'll try to make these videos in the upcoming weeks. So the first thing is uh, a new widget. Like the Zabbix started to improve visualization quite a long ago and the new widgets are basically something we can definitely expect in any new major version. So the widget is host card, which basically like direct host link as it is written here. So the ability to view detailed host information such as monitoring status, availability, templates, inventory and more. So it's kind of your like single single pane of glass of uh, what is happening with some specific host and also having the shortcuts. Let me zoom in uh, as example to like the dashboard, latest data graphs or, or web checks. So you can see what it is, uh, what is monitoring this host, whether it's the Zabbix server or the proxy, you can see what templates are used, some inventory fields. So everything you might want to know about one host. And this comes useful for the cases like when sometimes you are doing the troubleshooting before we had this, it takes a lot of the clicking in the front and like, okay, I need to go monitoring host, check some latest data, then some configuration host, check what kind of host groups it has, then I need to go to inventory and find a host. So it's a lot of clicking along the front end to collect all sort of pieces of the details about the selected host. But with this one, you can have like everything in a single dashboard. And integration with widgets like Honeycomb or Host Navigator for easy navigation between the hosts. So it's not necessarily has to be just one single, as you can see here. You have a host navigator where you can just click along all of the hosts and a side of information like the visual graphs and representation of the metrics that are being collected, you can also see your host card. An example configuration. Oh, well, this one is pretty straightforward uh, for the Zabbix so edit widget. Uh, it's called a host card created just like any other widget. You can call it whatever you want. You need to select the host which you want to show in this host card and then just select what exactly do you want to show as example here. So it's the monitoring section which has links to all of the monitoring relevant pages for this host. Availability show is it monitored by this Zabbix server or the proxy? What kind of host groups are inside? what kind of templates are linked inventory fields which you can also choose uh, which you want to show so yeah pretty much beneficial for the visualization and uh, will reduce the amount of the times you have to click through the front end to get the information you're looking for improvements to the clock widget the second one which uh, i don't know it's pretty much a long story because for many many years uh, 
Uh, Zabbix had only like analog clock, um, the circle, right, with, with, with the arrows pointing on, on hours and the minutes. And there were, I think there were numerous feature requests to, hey, we need a digital clock. And uh, it took quite a many years for, for Zabbix to actually add the digital clock. And I've, I don't remember actually in which version it was added. I think... Uh, either five something or six something but at the same time like an implementation of the digital clock uh, clock uh, left for wanting more and right now like the clock which displays digital time has undergone significant improvements size of individual elements date time and time zone now dynamically adjust to the available space based on the widget size displayed units and display scale this ensures that the widget always makes efficient use of space without requiring manual font size adjustments which always has been an issue and i believe not only with this widgets because sometimes like when you have multiple widgets in a dashboard, you try to align them sort of based on your screen, right? So you have to, you try to have as compact dashboard as possible. And sometimes that doesn't really work perfectly with uh, how the how the data in the widget is scaled. So you might have a lot of blank spaces. And same story was with a, with a clock widget, which right now is uh, fixed and it's not a problem anymore. Top items, widget, another visualization op option. <clears throat> widget is excellent tool for displaying a list of hosts and their latest measured values based on your configured parameters it offers the following features like the data sorting by host name or item name displaying active triggers directly at the item level making it easier to quickly identify issues the binary data values are not displayed in this widget which i'm not sure if it's gonna <clears throat> remain like that possibly that's gonna be fixed or you can say improved um in 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 the latest uh versions of this abic so this one is probably i will want to make a separate video about i want to see how it actually works but uh yeah so far like another great addition for the widget and 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 uh, that will make your life in the dashboards much more convenient host override in the graph widget a new feature in the graph widget host override enables dynamic changes to displayed host value directly through external widgets this functionality allows you to connect graph widget with a host navigator honeycomb widget or item navigator opening new possibilities for working with the graphs graphs on the dashboard which is another improvement like so that you don't need to click hundreds of times through the front end to see all um all sort of different information you might be looking for right now like if you have like the required widgets as example the host navigator you can just as it is displayed here in this screenshot just by clicking on the defined host that you have in your host navigator you can also influence uh what information the graph widget will show so it will show the info the metrics from the host that you have selected in the host navigator widget as example so as example what does it offer dynamic switching between the hosts using the host navigator or the honeycomb widget you can easily click on a specific host as i said and the graph widget will instantly display the corresponding metrics item list support reminder since earlier versions the graph widget has supported connections with the item navigator when the data source is an item list this functionality allows you to quickly switch between individual items which is useful for detailed metric monitoring at the item level and the new host override significantly expands this capability but by enabling seamless switching at the host level and extended grabs for the multiple items with a host override you can display multiple items related to a specific host in a single graph for instance like metrics cpu memory or network traffic for one host can be shown together providing a comprehensive overview of the host performance why this is useful simplicity flexibility so you can previously the dashboards were mostly like okay we have a screen right we, we call a dashboard and in this screen in this dashboard we just show some bits of <coughs> apologies some bits of information some absolutely independent widgets some of them show metrics some of them showed some problem status but those were actually not 
connected with each other. However, right now in, in this release and also in a previous release, the work is being more done to make those widgets work together. So you choose something in one widget and that influences the, the whole dashboard and all the widgets that are there. And as I mentioned multiple times, quickly switch between hosts or items without unnecessary complexity. So this is how it potentially looks like. Um, actually, it would be good to have like GIF images here. That would make much more sense. And here is the example configuration, how it looks like the legend uh, data set and override host based on the widget. So we're selecting that, okay, to, we're overriding the host and which host exactly we will show uh, is going to be based on a host navigator widget, which we also must have in our dashboard right now. And then those are going to be linked together. You might already have uh, configured the combination of host navigator plus item navigator with a configured item data set directly through the widget like this. And enhanced features of the top host widget. <coughs> The top host widget now offers extended configuration options for item val value columns, improving visualization and clarity of monitor data, the sparkling graphs column can now display sparkling graphs. This is also something that we will have to uh, test out. Again, I really want to see this in the real life, but it looks pretty much um, how to say like more compact and again, saves you a lot of time because Having just like uh, the graph widget or, or something like that, y yeah, you can see the graph, but you cannot see the whole picture. And if you try to fit like multiple metrics in a single graph, it's usually very difficult to like distinguish which color is exactly which metric, especially considering that by default, those colors are super similar. And if you have like 10, 15, 20 items, it will be close to impossible to understand which metric you're exactly seeing uh, without without hovering the the widget and and looking like on on the pop-up with the legend of all of the items but again if those dashboards are somewhere on a wall as a screen it's not entirely going to be an option uh, support for binary data Binary data values can now be displayed as image thumbnails or hyperlinks to full-sized images. This feature is perfect for monitoring visual data such as charts, screenshots or other image files. So here is the screenshot as example. <coughs> Dynamic color highlighting for the text data. For text values, you can configure a regular expression that automatically changes the column background color when a condition is met. This makes it easy to identify important values such as alerts, errors, or specific patterns in monitor data. So, um, yeah, you can basically, like, as example, if you're monitoring the logs, you are not necessarily lacking to uh, collect only, like, the errors, but if you're monitoring, like, the whole flow of of the log lines that might appear in the log you can configure this regular expression to like highlight something that you might be looking for which is especially going to work well for for some teams who are like spending their day at the work on on looking on some dashboards and trying to understand whether or not something is happening logarithmic scaling in the graph widget so the graph widget now supports logarithmic scaling on the y-axis this feature is ideal for data with rapid changes and wide range of the values maximum number of rows in the widget increased from 100 to 1000 so another just minor um minor quality of life thing the new limit thousand rows correspondence with the uh, max widget lines parameter and the front end definitions uh, this increase provides user with access to a large so basically if you're still lacking more uh, sounds like you can increase it here in the front end uh, config file just probably php defines ink.php defines or whatever it was called again we're gonna check it in some latest videos complete removal of the oracle database support i've mentioned this multiple times in the previous videos and and also in a patreon that uh, Oracle became deprecated in Zabbix 7.0 and right now with Zabbix 7.2 it's not supported at all. So if you somehow miss that and you're running on a Oracle database uh, backend then it's it's time to think like how you'll actually do uh, the migration and uh, on which version you're planning to migrate. New item for VMware templates. 
uh, which allowing monitoring of the hypervisor's maintenance mode. Uh, configuration of SSH public keys. Uh, security has been enhanced with the new option for configuring public key algorithms. Zabbix users can now more easily and flexibly set security parameters for remote access via SSH. Uh, support for SSH subsystems. Zabbix now supports using the minus S switch for SSH items, enabling connectivity to devices utilizing the subsystems like netconf, uh, some parameters, uh, new macroses, function dot value and function dot recovery values. Zabbix now supports which enable working with function results and triggers and the recovery expression. <coughs> so here are some examples, which probably again going to be worth of the separate video. More efficient monitoring of the Oracle database. So ironically, the, the Oracle database is dropped as a as a backend database for the Zabbix, but you have a new feature as how you can actually monitor the Oracle database if you still have it at your at your premise. Uh, new macroses, overview of minor improvements, so some some minor stuff, new templates, Lampstock, uh, Nutanix, Proxmox, uh, VMware website certificate by Zabbix Agent 2 active. And uh, there's also going to be the template for, uh, where is it? NVIDIA GPU monitoring, but that's going to be released in the next minor version. So after probably like three weeks or, or something like that you will be able to get this as well but don't don't forget that you will actually have to download it separately for from the uh, from the template repository and import it in your Zabbix. So overall, that's it for the for the release. As I said in the beginning, there's not so many like groundbreaking changes and, and new functionality added in the 7.2, but uh, quite a lot of small and, and quality of life improvement features that's uh, definitely going to make your life uh, a bit more bearable uh, working with Zabbix. And uh, let's see what the next version brings to us like with this uh, preparation version in the between but uh, we can see already that like even despite the fact that there is not so much major new functionality there's still a lot of topics that we need to cover in 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 some new videos so don't hesitate smash that subscribe button uh click the like and 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 we'll see you in the next videos guys so thank you for watching and goodbye